Hello beautiful people, welcome to another round. Um, let's get started, shall we? Start a timer. Maybe it will work. It doesn't work. Why? Okay, stop the timer. So maybe now. this already many times. That is that's that's wonderful. <laughs> that's 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 awesome. Um, what is this? Uh, okay, I don't want to look at it. This, but I, I will try and do this guy over here.
This is so... <laughs> That's worse. Alright. Uh, so that was the typing. Uh, we will continue with this guy. I'll just listen to an execute program. Let's restart. It's time time. Uh, sequential series of timeouts. Yeah, we did see that. Mm -hmm. That code is difficult to read, indeed, because there's a lot of nesting. You can imagine a function that automatically waits for the previous timer to finish. Call it then. Okay. Sure, that's not how it works. So this will be 16 result, and we will put it into promises. Small functions we immediately call. So it will be. Let me. So value will be equal to, and there will be open banana. And fed arrow uh, and times free, and then we will invoke it with value, and it will be similar for the next line. Yep, 16. Calls only involve two functions, but we can add more, sure. So we have now 32. Don't involve assignments. Uh, like value equals so we need to get rid of those first step toward let us introduce a chain function that wraps the value in an object okay I, I think I should like read it and then maybe speak out loud uh, the main main idea behind it yeah, that will be better. okay so now we have a chain function and it just returns an object uh, with a field of value so it will be object value and uh, there will be five okay now we add a then method to take our callback function as an argument So it will be uh, then double quotes, and then there will be a uh, lambda expression, which will return a function, maybe. function which takes a function then just invokes it and return it mm. all right this example uh, white spice okay so we have a 10 and yeah so it takes a call it is a function which takes the callback and then it evokes the callback with a value Uh, 
all right so now we have a chain and we invoke the then so it will return this guy and on this guy we invoke then in here we put in this function and that function is immediately invoked with the value field okay, so this will be 15 Say are we are returning an object with a value and then properties. True. And now we have a chain five, so that will return just okay. That will return a object with a, a value equal to five, and then it will be then with will be just function. Yeah. Or vice versa. Uh, this execute program they have something which puts them in alphabetical order and the uh, properties of that object All right final step change dense return value okay so then is the property of the object returned and it will not return directly five okay five five this dot then isn't it dense return value should be another chain okay we can call that then on that which gives us a new chain okay so let's see <laughs> okay so instead of just callback uh, value we return chain callback value so uh, in that case we will have again a, a value assigned we will have an object after returning this which will have a value and then dot, dot then which we can invoke a little bit hard to wrap my head around it uh, that's good I'm doing some work okay so now we have a chain with uh, with the initial or the value in is 5 then we have dot 10 which means we will have a object with with a value and dot 10 and the value will be uh, the result of this which is 5 is put in here so we will get 15 and then we access the value uh, property of that object so that will be 15 and now basically what I can just remember uh, when I got through that is that it takes the result of this it takes this, uh, I mean, it takes the 5, it 
multiply uh, it executes this this guy over it so I get 15 the 15 got blocked in uh, now I get 16 and uh, dot then still returns that that object and the same with a value and dot then so now I if I access the value property of it I will have a 16 cool I was just reading it, well, my eyes were scanning the lines, but I was not retaining any information. Chains are synchronous. Okay, so they execute one after another, that's what it means. that they are not promises okay so promises are synchronous I guess show us basic API of promises there is a way okay so we have a way to create that object which is returned and we may add then callbacks that return new values, new objects. But promises don't have equivalent of our value property. They don't? Okay, so I'm curious what they do have. Okay, so now we will switch to the real promises and uh, they will further explain this. Uh, the thing I should remember is that if I do some promise.resolve, I will get an object with a value in it. No, the resolve will, yeah, the resolve, well, it, they don't really say, but, yeah, it should, yeah, it should return the object with the value and the then, and they will tell us what the difference is after. So now, so we have a promise resolve 11. So that will return us that thing. And then we have dot then. So that will be 12. And then we will make six out of it. And then we'll print out. So we should get six. Okay. 
four promises constructed in that example. Okay, so there's a one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so what they are saying here that the resolve returns a promise, each of dot then returns a promise, and it has uh, the same behavior of our as the, the the methods we were creating some time ago. I look in my browser's built-in console, you'll see something like this. It might be different depending on my browser, okay. So... I'll go to console. I don't want this. Go away. Bye. Okay. So... Promise, resolve, five, fulfilled, five. Okay, so if I do promise dot resolve uh, five and execute, yeah, that's that's what I got. And promise. And then we have promise status and promise value. And it is in two square brackets. Does it mean it is a symbol or what does it mean? The garage constructor finally. And if I go to dot then, I will get the same thing, right? Maybe not. Oh well. Okay, so for now, fulfilled means that the promise contains a value. Everything else we will talk about later. Uh, they mentioned that uh, the promise might be waiting for something and such. Okay, so this is how it shows in a, in a browser, but uh, response, or response, not response, answer, answer to do will look different. With, uh, it will be like this, okay, like an object, okay, just fulfilled in five, okay. Okay. Oh, I I did have square brackets if I remember. Right. If I have a look in the console. Oh, come on. Everything's so slow on my machine. Slow machine. Come on. Oh yeah, those were somewhere inside of it, okay. So it shows like this, promise, curlies, edges, five, okay. Okay, so we have a promise, resolve, five, so that will uh, 
do the first one, but then we will add one, so it will be like this, fulfilled, and six, like so. Okay, right, so this is how they want it in here. Promises have no way to directly read their values. That's interesting. I would think that you can just read the full file, fulfilled uh, property, don't you? Okay, but they are passing it under the den and they do some magic in there to get the value. Okay, so there will be there will be an example and they will use uh, this name instead of that just to show that it actually works. So uh, we have a inspected promise which is just an object. Then we have a promise resolve five. And then we have a we call dot ten on it. Take the value and on a inspected promise we build a uh, oh fuck what is it property uh, which will point to that value okay and then we say the inspected promise so it will be an object uh, with value inside promise and we get the five. Okay, cool. Problem. Okay, so we want to wrap it in array. So we will okay so we have a five there will be ten then there will be string ten and i will do oh come on and uh, ten and we will take the value and we will put it inside of uh, the array that should be it right yep that, that that's basically it Preliminary. Uh, what does it mean? Okay. Okay, so this is like preparation for later thing. Um, there is no async or in the in the examples we have done, and we showed how uh, how to use them the syntax, and uh, they said something that it's built upon the promises are built on top of the promises or. Calling that then. Okay. And we finish the lesson. Alright, fourth card, and I have a minute left. So we'll see. So this will be okay. One, two. Ah, oh, come on, three. And we have a 
clear time mode, okay, so that will have nothing in it. And this will have just uh, the one timer one because we clear the second one. Mm -hmm. So this we will have it warped like so. Okay. And we finish example. Finish the review. Oh, <laughs> just in time. So we are over the time limit, which means we are done. Done is better than perfect. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.